Revitalization is a word we hear often in the Mahoning Valley, especially when it comes to downtown Youngstown or Warren. Salem's trying to attract new business to its downtown, but ran into a big problem. Today, the city unveiled a solution. 27 First News anchor Julie Bursick is live in the studio now with that story, new at 530. Yeah, Salem has a lot of vacant buildings, but there really wasn't a way to get information about that property if someone was actually interested in it. So a lot of nonprofits and groups got together and came up with a visual way to change that problem. Libs Market in downtown Salem is just two days away from its one year anniversary. I feel like we've been accepted and uh, a lot of support from the community. Opening a business in downtown Salem just made sense for Ben Ratner. It's definitely practical. There's a lot of people working downtown that want their caffeine <laughs> fix. Ben is the co-chair of the Downtown Salem Partnership and wants to see more businesses come to town. So do a lot of other groups. Space in Salem isn't an issue. We realized that out of 120 buildings downtown, 28 of them were vacant and not available. That's a big problem if you're trying to attract new business. Now there's an easy way to know if an empty building is available. Great. It's called a window cling and lets a potential buyer know it's on the market. Instead of driving through town and noticing all of the vacant buildings, um, and maybe that being your discussion, now the discussion is, look what we're doing with our vacant buildings. The Columbiana County Port Authority is sponsoring the clings. A Salem graphic artist and printer help with the project, keeping it local. The collaboration, working together, moving the entire county forward. We have what will be our first urban winery coming in in the fall. Back at Libs Market, Ben is all for window clings going up in town and hopes to have new neighbors soon. The president of the Downtown Salem Partnership tells WKBN some buildings are actually in the process of being leased, others being sold. And of course, that's good news for the city. It means more businesses coming to town. Live in the studio, Julie Bursick, WKBN 27 First News.